Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, we are going to talk about basic tools. So, if you are going to start fixing computers, you want to become a computer technician, like I was talking in the other class. Uh, if you have any question, you can leave it on the comment. Also, you can see the other videos in the playlist. So, here we are going to talk what are the basic tools. Of course, you can have more tools. I have a lot of tools, more than the one I described here on the whiteboard. But this is the basic. I consider the basic just to start when you go to a customer and then uh, after that you, you will be able at, at least to handle almost every situation. So let's start with uh, hardware and then the, the software later. So we are going to start uh, first of all the, the basics, so the basic will be a screw a screwdrivers. So if you can uh, buy a, a set of screwdrivers, that would be great. What I recommend, I have here. Uh, I made a, a review about this. This is, uh, the brand is iFixit and it works great. So I'm going to show you a little bit uh, closer what you can expect of this. So here I have the, the screwdrivers. As you can see, the iFixit, very good. I mean, if you can get a basic pack like this, you will be set. Here you have tweezers, uh, you have a, like a, a plastic uh, end, so if you want, or point. So if you want to fix a, like maybe some cell phone or something like that. Uh, this, usually these uh, tips are, or these tools are for, for cell phone, but if you want to repair cell phones, I do it as, as well. Here you have a, a ruler, here you have a knife, here you have some uh, spl splancher tools and another thing. But the basic that you're going to need is, is here. It's the, the screwdrivers themselves. It, it comes with a lot of tips. So this is a good thing. Another thing that I'm going to show you is my Victory Knox here. As you can see uh, with this uh, pocket, uh, this is a pocket knife so that, that you may use. I'm going to show you closer so you can see it. As you can see, this is the, um, the cover of the case. Uh, you can uh, clamp it on your belt. So this is a little bit old, but you can buy the new one. This is almost, uh, it has a tweak. I put uh, here, I, I send it so someone will, so a um, big magnet, magnet here, like a neodymium magnet here and here, so it will close very well. And this is the, the tool, this is the basic. So usually a 36 tool or 40 tools, uh, they are great. So the basic thing that you're going to need is all the tools here, the, all the tips. So here you have a Philips a driver, here is a flathead. Here I ha you have another one that is a small, small one. Usually it's good for notebooks and everything. Uh, here you may have a different like a, a torch or something like that, um, a star head or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you, here you have different uh, tips, usually are for hard drives or maybe notebooks, they are very uh, useful. Sometimes you're going to need uh, this uh, plier, so this is very good. Uh, if you have to maybe to remove a chamber from a motherboard or something like that, so this is, is good. Um, you have the regular the flat head, so this is, is good as well. And you have a knife here if you want to cut maybe a cable or whatever. And you have a small screwdriver, very useful here. This is a flat head, as you can see here. I hope you, you can see it uh, better. I'm going to s zoom in so you can see this is very good. Um, basically, that's it. I mean, here it comes. I use sometimes uh, small tweezers. So if you want to use this, it works very good as, as well. And if you need a pen, it works great as well. So this is uh, what I use every day. Uh, and it's, it's very good. I like this one because you can move it from, from one side to the, the other one in case if you have to see it or whatever. I don't know, whatever is, is the case. The next uh, thing that you're going to need, a multimeter. So this multimeter is basic. So if you want to know uh, the voltage of the power supply or maybe of the power core, so this is very good. 
if you want to use it for alternate uh, current, you can put it like that. On the direct current, it will be in this position. So this is just the, the basic. So th that those are the tools that are <laughs> like mandatory. Uh, at least that is very basic. So if, if you want, you can use this or um, you can use something like this, but this is what is useful because if I have it here on my in my belt on my be on my belt all the time, you know, it's uh, very hard to forget. Also, uh, when you go to the customer, you always have it uh, next to uh, next to you in case in contrast with the other uh, kit that you have to have in in another suitcase or something like that. I, I don't know. But usually I don't take this everywhere. Um, I have it with this. Usually most of the cases I'm fine. And that I can have it maybe in, in the car if I need it. I can go pick it up. The same thing with the, um, with the multimeter. I mean, it, it's, it depends. I mean, if the customer say, hey, my computer is, is not turning on. Okay, multimeter, <laughs> that would be the, the first option. If, you, if the customer say, no, I have some buyers, okay, I don't need any multimeter in, in those cases. But th that would be the, just the basic. Uh, in hardware, I would recommend to buy a notebook, uh, at least a cheap one or whatever. Uh, so that way, if you have to do something else, maybe the computer that you're going to fix is not booting up, and then maybe you have to uh, copy some data or you have to do something, it would be nice to have uh, at least. It doesn't have to be very powerful. At least with a cheap one, com uh, with a cheap one, will be okay. Uh, serial adapter, USB SATA, so that is uh, very good and it will help you a lot if you have to remove the hard drive from your computer, I mean from the computer of the customer, and you want to scan the, the hard drive with your notebook, that would be great. If you have to copy something because the, maybe the computer is not booting up and the customer is saying, no, I, just, I need one file. If you take care of that file, you can wipe and reload and I, I will be okay. So if that is the case, connect the serial the adapter the SATA adapter, USB, copy the file, put it again in the computer, boot and uh, wipe and reload, and you will, you will be okay. Um, another thing, it will be, it will be good, a uh, jump drive, just in case, I don't know, maybe you have to install a uh, Windows or maybe you have to run a uh, Linux or whatever, if you have a jump drive, or maybe you have to make a backup, like I said, from another file, that is a good thing. Another thing is, external hard drive, external hard drive, USB. So if you want to make, to clone the whole hard drive, let's say the customer say, hey, I need to do uh, a whole backup of my full operating system and my, all the, my software and everything. And you say, okay, the hard drive will be 100 bucks and, and you can clone everything and you wipe and reload or do whatever you want. So always I recommend before doing anything on the computer or the customer, try to clone the hard drive just in case something goes wrong, you know, you can go back at the same point, at the same moment, uh, how everything was the, the computer. Because once you delete something or something stopped working, yeah, it will be very difficult for you to explain to the customer, hey, I messed up your computer, I don't know. <clears throat> so the next uh, thing will be software. So. There are, this is this is not all uh, what I have. This is uh, these are not uh, all the software that I use. I have many more. Like I said, if you want the whole list with everything, let me know. I can add it in the description of this video. But this will be the basic. At least with this, you you, you will be uh, okay. So first of all, Windows. Okay. Today, 2016, Windows 10. Maybe in 2020 will be Windows 20 or 50 or whatever is the version. So uh, always uh, keep uh, original copy or Windows in your in your pocket because in, usually now they come in a jump drive. But if it comes in CD, DVD, I don't know. Maybe you own or the customer want the Windows 7. You, you can have a copy. Great, have a copy of that in case they lost the license, or I, I don't know, maybe they bought a brand new computer and they say, hey, can you come to my home and build the computer? Um, I want Windows 7. 
okay, I have a DVD with me, so you can sell the, the license, so that is a good option, that is, will be very recommended. Also Office, if you can have a copy of the current Office of the year, do that, uh, that will be another sale to do, so you can make some money. Uh, also Linux, uh, why Linux? You say, well, maybe the customer, they don't care about uh, Windows, they, they don't, the only thing that they care is Facebook, email, reading the newspaper, and that's it. Okay, you can offer them, hey, here I have a Linux, I can make a copy, I can install it in your computer, they might be happy, you will say, hey, you will, you will, have, you will not have any virus forever, or something like that. It's, it's very hard that you may have a virus with, with Linux. Usually all the, the viruses are, are made for, for Windows, at least today, 2016. Uh, I don't know, in 50 years, it might be different. I don't know. Okay, uh, antivirus. So you may say, why? Why antivirus? I mean, Windows 8 comes with antivirus, Windows 10 comes with antivirus, so you, you don't need any antivirus. But some customers will say, no, I don't like the Microsoft Essential antivirus or Windows Defender antivirus. I want my own, uh, something different. So you may have two or three copies of maybe Northern antivirus, Avira, a bit defender, um, uh, whatever, and you can say, hey, here I have this, here I have that. So you, you have few things to sell. Um, other thing that will be very important, uh, ultimate boot CD. So why I recommend this? Because this will be your swift knife uh, made, uh, I mean, <laughs> this will be your software swift knife. So uh, memtest is very good. If your computer is showing, is displaying like blue screen of death or something like that, usually it could be memory, problem with the memory. So if you can test with that, that will be great. H.2, this is a very good software. is to check the whole surface of the hard drive. So maybe you're, you're thinking, well, the computer is acting weird or something. I don't know. Uh, use that. It will help you a lot. Uh, also, uh, you can buy active uh, password changer. Uh, it, it doesn't come with the boot uh, CD, the ultimate boot CD. Uh, I have uh, my my license with this. Uh, it's very good. It helps you if you go to a customer. They say, "Hey, I don't know the password of my Windows. Or I don't know. I went for, for vacations and I came back. Uh, I don't know my cousin or someone. Some someone." else change the, the password or they add the password, I don't know. You, you don't know, so you don't know, they don't know who else. I mean, uh, this will uh, help you a lot. It will remove any password from any windows, so it works great, highly recommended. Uh, another thing would be Acronis. Acronis is great, so if you want to clone the hard drive, like I said, into the external hard drive, this one uh, works great. Uh, usually, Ultimate Boot CD comes with uh, Clonezilla. Uh, Clonezilla sometimes it doesn't work that good. I mean, it's not that great the software. So, uh, Acronis it works very good every time. Like 99.9 percent, .9 it works great. And if you have to recover any data, get data back. It works great. It can recover almost everything. So there are a few tips. Uh, we'll be making another video how to recover uh, data and all those things. Um, the latest one, you say, okay, I install Windows and I have everything working and everything is fine, but I have uh, some problem with uh, maybe the video card, the sound card, um, maybe the network card or something like that. And you say, well, how can I install all those things? The customer doesn't have the CD, the driver, they lost it or whatever. Driver's pack, you go, you type driver's pack, Usually it's a Russian uh, site. If you have any question, uh, leave me a comment. I'll try to uh, leave the link on the description. And you download that uh, a small file. You run it. Just be, uh, be aware. They may install some weird things. So I, the caveat will be, 
use the expert. At least today, 2016, they have one green option on the top that says, yes, click here, install, and they will install all the drivers. This works great, but they install maybe a few uh, programs that are not that good, so I don't like it. Of course, they are in Russian. So what I, I do is, instead of the first one on the top that has all the colors, I go on the bottom where it says expert. So click expert button and then choose all the drivers. And then there is a tab or label where it says a software. Go to the software and, and check everything and check all the software. Just leave the drivers and everything will be fine. So no problem, I have done it tons of times, no problem. Uh, they offer a pay and free version. The free version usually is the software you download it, great. But if you're saying, okay, uh, my network card is not working, you have two options. One, uh, grab one USB Ethernet adapter. The, you have the drivers, of course. You go, install it in your computer, the con customer computer. You install it, it works, great, connected to internet. And then go here, download the the software, it will, down, it will download all the drivers that the computer needs, and great. Second option will be try to get maybe uh, this version, but there is the version is uh, 13, 13.4 or something like that, that it, it fits in a DVD. So you can do that. Usually, today, it still works fine. Yeah, you can run it in most of the computers and it will install all the drivers. So that will be the, the two options or you can buy the maybe the paid version that they send you a super DVD or maybe you can do the same thing in a super uh, shunt drive and then you have all the drivers and you run it from there and that will be it. It may change all, all the, over time but uh, that is great. So let me know what are the tools that you use, uh, what do you think about my recommendation? So if you want to know more, remember, watch uh, my, uh, my whole series of videos about how to become a computer technician. Remember, you can go to the forum if you want to ask questions. And also you can buy the, um, the list or the full a video class about how to become a computer technician. You have notes, you have a, a exams and everything else. See you next class. Bye.